What are you looking forward to most senior year? Um, probably being student body president. As I'm looking forward most to creating one last little bit of memories with all these great people that I've met through my years in high school. Making a lot of friends and a bunch of content for CES TV. I'm so excited for that responsibility and uh, just the spirit that comes with it. I'm really, really excited to take them. I'm really excited for all the senior events. I'm super excited for football games and being in the front row and also leading student council assemblies. What are you looking forward to most senior year? Just getting out of high school because I don't want to deal with much of this stuff anymore. I'm over it. I've been looking forward to my senior prom since freshman year. It really has a different experience than junior. What have I been looking forward to most since freshman year? Uh, probably the senior traditions. Example, we're at sunrise right now, and I'm super excited for all the senior-based uh, activities that we have planned. All the senior experiences, honestly, don't have just one. Uh, or to getting to come out with everybody and enjoy this beautiful sunrise, but. I didn't ask very long. Um, I guess this happened a couple years ago, but driving and getting to drive myself places that like every single time I drive, I just get so excited uh, because it's all you've wanted for your entire life. Um, and definitely to graduate and to get out of it. What piece of advice would you give to your freshman self? Um, I guess, I mean, I guess it's kind of generic, but it does really go by super fast. Like, I thought uh, sitting in the first year of freshman year was going to take so long. really take a chance to soak up every single moment because uh, when I'm like an eye, it's going to be Be more outgoing and don't try too hard because those are two things I definitely did do and I wish I didn't. And I think if I knew those things going in, it definitely would have benefited me to be different for it. I think that everything happens for a reason. Um, there's nothing to worry about. There's nothing to stress about. And it'll all work out in the end. Stop cutting your hair like that, it looks bad. Where do you hope to be by the end of high school? <laughs> Mentally, physically, or emotionally? In college. Um, well, that's a deep question. Ooh, where do I hope to be? Um, let's see, well, I hope to be, I don't know, going great places. <laughs> <laughs> I hope to just be so happy and grateful for the life that I've been given um, and for the opportunities I've been given all through high school. We're so lucky to get to go to such a great school that gives us so many cool opportunities. So. Getting a job, probably finally getting my driver's license because I haven't done that yet, which I hope to do. I wish I'd done that. Um, maybe a little bit taller and Where do I hope to be by the end of senior year? In college. Well, I just hope to make this year so great. It's so hard sometimes, like your senior year and it's your last everything, uh, but to just make the most of all the assemblies and all the events that we get to put on. a rivalry renewed between Corona and Marcos. The teams facing off for just the third time since 2006, and the Aztecs wasted no time getting on the scoreboard. First quarter, Connor Ackerley.
All right, what's up, jerks? Okay, hope everybody's ready to learn because we are talking about color theory today. The thing about color theory is it's kind of subjective. 